Queen to fly. Gorgeous here is Brie, and crazy over there is Amanda. These are my girls. I decided on the black t-shirts, but you can choose any color you want. Oh, and that's me, Nada Grace. Welcome back to my channel. Next, we needed letters. We decided on pre-printed letters, but you can choose any kind you want. You can actually print them on a transparency or cut them out yourself using transfer paper. And that's somebody's kid who wanted a cameo. First things first, you'll need your t-shirt, any color you want of course. You'll need your iron. I'm going to place way too much. You also need the letters of your choice. All the selections that we chose were pre-printed letters, which are different options. But like I said, you can either print your own letters using the computer onto iron-on paper, or you could even use transfer paper, which you can also find at Michael's. Next, you'll need to figure out what message you want then cut out the letters you're going to need to make that message. Of course, depending on how long your message is, that definitely factors in to how big your letters should be. We went with an acronym from one of Big Sean's new popular songs, and we're keeping it PG. But you can do anything you want. Funny song lyrics, phrases that you like, your favorite quote, whatever. Now it's time to arrange your letters. Make sure, of course, you put them in the right order. Nobody wants a t-shirt that says, I don't with F you. What? At this point, the textured side of the letter, the one you're going to iron down, should be in direct contact with the shirt. If the letters look reversed, you need to flip them over. It's time to iron it out. Oh. I forgot to mention, you'll need a cotton cloth to be your barrier between the iron and the shirt for this part. I chose an old pillowcase. So you're going to take your timer and for 30 seconds you should be pressing on each letter. So take your time and get comfortable. After you're done doing that, you want to just go over the entire letter portion, keep on pressing, leave it there for a while, and you want to make sure this process takes you around 5 minutes. You're trying to melt the letters onto the shirt. Now flip it over and we're gonna repeat the same thing, except you do not need the cotton cloth this time. You're just taking your iron and repeating the exact same process. After you do that, make sure you seal your letters to ensure that the edges of those letters stay put. After you're done, you're gonna to need to let it sit for about one minute. We're almost done. Let's peel it off. Try to hold the bottom taut while you peel off the letters nice and slowly. If you see that the letters on the shirt start to come off with the transfer paper, you wanna go back and iron it some more. That's just an indication that you have more work to do. And we're done. Look at our finished product. I think it's so cute, and I'm really happy with the letters we chose. This will make a great last minute Christmas present if you're last minute like me. It'll also make a really good birthday gift. Anything really. And I want to say this whole shirt cost me around 10 bucks to make. And it was hilariously fun. Which is what happens when you do anything with these clowns. Because I have to go to the bathroom. What do you mean, are we friends? <laughs> because I have to go to the bathroom. Then go to the bathroom. No, but I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs>
Then go. But I had to go to the bathroom. Oh. <laughs> That's why I said, are we friends? So you definitely know this is going in the bloopers, right? <laughs> That's fine. Look <laughs> <Cut> that loose. <laughs> <laughs> Three, every shot that I have, you're gonna burn your phone. That's so sad. Yeah. Look at her and laugh. <laughs> there you go. It's so much fun. Alright, stop. <laughs> <laughs> I should have done another video. I can't. Got it. I forgot about the Modega dance. But me and Michael was the thing to do for Christmas. And there ain't no service in here. Nope. <laughs> what are you doing? 